Hi everyone. Today we're going to discuss the last question of this paper, Investigating Large Business 2021 June paper, IGCAC. Look at the case study again. You can see the uh, formula sheet is given here. You can see the gross profit margin, operating profit margin, uh, markup ROCE. And the case study is again familiar. The next a well known clothing retailer, it's a multinational company, operating 70 countries. Right? They're manufacturing the clothes and everything, and they're selling in online platforms. And normally, yeah, all of the physical outlets also, mainly some items they are purchasing from, especially ladies dresses they are purchasing from Turkish factories. In question number four, you know, there are three questions are there in the question number four. Uh, two marker calculation question, a six mark analyzed question and 12 marker, the biggest question in the last question, question number four, evaluate question. In the question number four, you're asking a two marker calculation question. Next, continually monitors progress so that it can measure the success of its business. It aims to do this through improving manufacturing techniques and cutting cost, while still maintaining the quality of the goods produced. Figure two shows selected financial information for next in 2019. You can see 2019, the revenue figure, 4,221 million pounds and operating profit, 590 pounds. And they're asking you to calculate to two decimal places, the operating profit margin for next in 2019, you are advised to show your workings, okay? So very important, my students, when you're reading this kind of question, please select about this two decimal points. Sometimes the questions uh, giving instructions, please carefully read the question and underline two decimal points, two decimal places. The operating profit margin, sometimes, you know, operating profit margin, normally operating profit over revenue into 100, that's usually what you are doing in financial management section. But you don't need to buy hard this formula. Why? We have given a formula sheet in the beginning of the paper. You can see gross profit margin and operating profit margin. How to calculate the operating profit and operating profit margin. So we have used this formula given in the formula sheet. Right? Operating profit margin equal operating profit over revenue into 100. Right? So you have to apply this formula into this answer. Substitute the values. So I thoroughly recommend you to use the number substitutions in the given figure because we are given some space here. Because in case I have found when we are marking the answers, normally we found out usually a lot of students actually sometimes the answer is wrong. Answer get wrong. Sometimes for two decimal points, they are giving only one decimal points. Therefore, you are losing answer, you are losing the marks in that case. But when you write the when you show the proper workings here, we can give still one mark. The correct workings, you still you can earn one mark. So therefore, take the chance, show your workings, and write down the answer in the given space here as a percentage value. So you don't need to write the percentage sign. The percentage sign is given here to write the answer here. So in this case, uh, is operating profit given, revenue given, you have to divide operating profit over revenue into 100, right? So this here, just substitute and find the answer in the calculator. So 590 over 4,221 into 100, that is 13.98, right? Two marks, award one mark for the correct substitution, numbers into formula, and award full mark for the correct numerical answer without working, without working. Okay, now let's go to the second question of this answer, part B. You can see, analyze the effect for next of an increase in the UK interest rate. This is the economic side question, analyze question, you know, UK interest rates now they're asking increasing. When increasing interest rate, you know, there's a government influence, you know, fiscal policy and the monetary policy. Monetary policy, we are normally recognize the interest rates and the money supply. When the interest rates increasing, what happened to the money supply? When interest rates increase, it can be happen to the lending and borrowing rates both. When lending rates increasing, what happens? A lot of people will deposit their money to the bank system because they can earn more interest. Then money availability with the UK consumers will go down. So as a result, you can say the consumers will not buy that much of clothes. So as a result, unsold inventory will be remaining in the business organization with the next showrooms and everything. Talk about the clothing factory. So when the lending rates increases, what happens? The money supply will decrease because people are right. They are depositing their money in the banks. On the other hand, whatever the borrowing rates increases, then people will discourage to take loans. And they will not use their credit cards to buy clothes. Again, what happened? Unsold inventory will be remaining in the showrooms. As a result of that, business sales. 
the next has to face a, some challenging point because interest rates going up it's negatively affecting their demand and sales will go down profit will go down as a result of that so we'll see what kind of answer was analyze question you had at least two impacts you have to analyze two points and your development should be there right no need of definition just a three mark for application and three mark for the analysis right so analyze question in this case normally think about the take the borrowings and the lending rate interest rate because the answer here if interest rates rise then consumers will spend less on items such as clothing from next look at the development this could lead to reduction in sales for next which would have an impact on its profit on the other hand consumers are less likely to purchase next furniture on credit so not only right clothes because they have gift item furniture everything so as a result what happened they will not use their credit cards and they will not borrow on credit basis because high interest rate and you can see this could leads to next not being able to sell its inventory right so this is the impact so you can write two impact like that basically think about the interest rates the borrowing and lending side okay now we're moving to the last question of this paper the biggest question the 12 marker evaluate the importance of next maintaining quality throughout all of its manufacturing process if you use information provided as well as your own knowledge in business so what is the point here quality maintaining quality right so this is under operation management you know quality control quality assurance kaizen team uh, tqm lean 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 production so many concepts we learned under quality so quality is important quality is a customer mindset about what the perceived value of the good that how much is product is worth for a price so you can see they are asking 12 mark question please follow the format like define first of all what is meant by quality and provide to advantage for the company what is the perspective here think about the importance of importance of our next of maintaining quality importance for next of maintaining cause so of the business point of view not the customer point of view the business organization how quality will be important then give two positive points the development and two negative points with the development and the conclusion 12 marker question answer would be like that let's see the answer structure in here we are checking your normally assessment objectives a1 2 3 and 4 everything a1 stand for your know, knowledge that is for definition side uh, and application right using the next the clothing this case study three marks and then analysis point that is for the development side of your answer three mark and for a of four the evaluation point which is you are talking about the opposite side the however for and against and give you some conclusion right so basically uh A one stand for knowledge part. You can see consumers who purchase clothes expect quality goods. Consumers who purchase clothes expect quality goods, right? That is a kind of a definition for quality. The who purchase clothes expect quality good. Quality of product is give a business a good reputation, benefit. The quality of product give business a good reputation. In this case, the case study application points, right? Next, provide the quality furniture and fashionable dresses for customers to buy. Right, what they provide you always application means students you can use the products they are selling, the names and the places, the currencies, their locations and their numbers of years, values, everything comes under application points. Answer would be more meaningful if you write to the proper context. Otherwise, answer will be regarded as a generic answer when you're when you're reading an answer because you are giving level based marking. So sometimes your level can go down unless you are not providing examples. the case so you always use example like clothing retailer they are using the uh, the you know, ladies item they are purchased from turkey like that and poor reputation may mean that next attract a few customers for it worldwide shops so they talk about this question entire question about the quality of these items and the reputation problem this quality is always matter the reputation uh, look at the leading points uh, the analysis point next will have to ensure that all manufacturers of their clothes and furniture maintain the same standards throughout 70 countries this is another application using the number of 70 countries they are operating they have to ensure that all the manufactured items are same standard throughout the 70 countries right and next may have to close some of these shops which would reduce the number of its outlets and sales next may have to close some of its shops which would reduce the number of its outlets and sales why they have to close some of its shops right 
because if there sometimes quality standard if can't, if you if they can't match the quality standards ne? next may have to close some of its shops which would reduce the number of its outlets and sales because if a reputation problem comes right if the reputation poor reputation comes then happen sometimes they have to close down their shops also impact the development point look at the evaluation point a of 4 how your points the arguments uh, for and against against the against argument for however maintaining the standard is expensive maintaining the same quality is good but expensive as the production of clothes and furniture will need constant inspection to ensure that items are of that quality is set another problem however once a poor reputation for quality is gained amongst customers for clothes or furniture it is very hard to regain their loyalty that is very important right always quality matters if something a poor reputation thing happen it should very hard to regain the customer the loyalty for their products so this is mainly entire the answer normally you can see the 12 marker is designed like that but don't try like the point form is are marking the marking scheme giving some kind of only indication what are the main elements that can be there there may be more than more responses you can write so always uh like don't need to actually buy heart this marking scheme and always produce there are so many ways you can produce an answer right because quality means a different attributes that they are having quality is important to get the customer loyalty right customer the market share can increase you can get like a, having a good quality product is a unique selling point so your brand image will increase again reputation right the more more profit can gain the organization customer identification of the brand and then it will be more you can charge a premium price for the high quality product so many options are there right imagination is important so but make sure you are writing the proper application in the proper situation so that's all about the answer the importance of quality right it's a pretty easy question though so quality part because always uh, a lot of 12 markers are there from different different aspect uh, from operation management this is quality they are asking the quality not as a general quality not the quality control or the quality assurance one of the total quality management thing uh, they ask about the general concept of quality so um especially uh, finally i thank some my, my audience for actually encouraging me keep motivating me and subscribing my channel and everything so please share this thing please share and like and watch my videos continuous thank you very much for your feedback right and your success is my success right because i'm doing this not mainly for a right as a social service for education channel you know mainly uh, it's even not a not for a money mainly for a education purpose only so thank you very much for being with me uh, and please subscribe my channel and share this with your friends and use the benefit of this channel and then you can get through your pass your exam with the flying colors and thank you very much keep watching my videos till we'll watch another video like that will keep on producing me i'm uh, looking on other uh, you know uh, uh, parts of this continuously i'm going to uh, make some good content in the future as well thank you very much guys have a good day bye